Okay, we're going to go over your 8900 central monitor. And here we have it in the 32 bed display configuration. I'm going to begin with your global user keys. Again, we have a menu key. Home takes me back out of the menu key. Tone volume allows you to change the tone and volume. Some of these will have a lower limit. You will not be able to go below, but this does give you some variability in the tone. Bed transfer allows you to keep the information that you've that you've accumulated on one patient as you switch pieces of equipment. The steps include choosing the piece of equipment that your patient is currently on and then choosing the piece of equipment that they will be moving to. You are then prompted to, to verify that you would like to, original, to delete the data from your original monitor and transfer it to your new monitor. If you would like to do so, you press yes and the information accumulated on your first monitor now has gone over to the new piece of equipment that the patient is on. Color setup allows you to change the color of the waveform based on patient status or DNR status, uh, again, according to your hospital policy. For instance, if I would like to change my heart rate to red, I choose red and then select the waveform to be changed. I'll press, I'll press home to back out and now you can see that the waveform and heart rate have turned red, making it an easy, easy visual cue that my patient status has changed. Again, color setup, select the color, and then press the waveform to be changed. Home to back out. The next user key is the parameter on off key. This key allows you to, in the, in the example of using the 7230, if I was using the 7230 for just uh, SpO2 and not ECG, I would, in order to keep the check lead notification from taking up screen space, I can select ECG off, and then when I go to my home page, 